We are back in Hugo Slavia today and we have three challenges on the agenda. First of all, we have to fix I Don't Careville, which is this monstrosity that we put together last time to help us hit the target of Megalopolopolis. Then we have to choose to unlock our ninth and final square for Hugo Slavia. And finally, we are going to hook up to this train line with a beautiful looking hub to finally get trains into our city. And that's all got to be done within the space of this video. Can it be done? Well, let's find out together. We're going to start right now so let's head on over and take a look at i don't careville yeah we threw this thing down it is a mess but there is a lot of people living in here let's just check the latest population figures uh, over two and a half thousand people but unfortunately it's been causing a little bit of traffic we've got traffic coming in and out over here we've got traffic coming down this main road here so yeah we are going to rebuild this and change this and i would like to make this a big loop road that goes all the way around so we're going to just pause here we've got this big main road that goes down there so let's grab this road here we are going to upgrade whoa we're going to upgrade all of these down here we're going to lose some houses along the way but you know progress there you go for now we'll just do that so now the cars can go straight all the way through which is good let's keep things moving oh well they will do if i get this attached up over here so let's do that very good very good those houses will disappear at some point as well and we can do the rezoning and such okay that is looking much better um part of the infrastructure redo over here i would like to get our trolley buses going through here because that is something we've had throughout the whole of this build in hugo slavia is the trolley bus infrastructure we have three separate lines in a minute some of which are taking a lot of people and we've got a couple of lines that stop over here. These ones go... Yeah, that one sort of goes halfway through to our little stop here with the metro. And then we've got the yellow lines with the underground metro as well. So that means we are going to need to upgrade all of these roads to a larger one. I'm thinking this is such a busy area. I am thinking of going for the six-lane road. Why don't we go six-lane road with trees, trolley bus and bicycle lanes oh my goodness me that would absolutely help everywhere because on here we would get extra lanes going either way i think these six lane roads anyway this might have to become a roundabout at some point let me just upgrade all of this main road all the way around here there we go all done and that means also we're going to have to upgrade this one all the way around here as well that snakes around the mountain and i think when we get to here We've already got trolley bus wires. Yeah, in this very busy junction. Excellent. So now that continues all the way down there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And then back to where we were before. Excellent. So now we've got access to trolley buses all around here, um, which I think is definitely going to help. So we've got to just think now, where do we want this line to go? If we just have that as a loop going around in both directions, because we are going to expand more over here. So... Uh, we've got a hill but we could have some buildings down here we could have some waterfront buildings so that would be worth doing and we've got this trolley bus line here yes line details that is the blue one which wasn't so busy so it crosses over with that one which then goes into this hub area here i feel like we need some stops at the top here so these people can well, does that blue line go any further oh i'll tell you what we'll do we'll do this we turn all of them off and put the nope put the blue one on so the blue one actually heads all the way into this area here wow, this blue one just goes everywhere doesn't it um is that buses as well we've got buses going on here ah that's the confusion there we go so yeah that heads into that little area there hmm and then it heads up over to here i think yeah if we have it looped around then have a a stop here which can then change between the two. In fact, because this is such a busy road, I think what I'm going to do is just put a little... We've got a little one-way system going on here. Which way is that coming? I'm going to just build this down here. We are going to then add at some point to this spot. So then what I'm going to do is grab these roads and we're going to change them for something else. So we've got the tree down the middle here, haven't we? Let's do that. So we don't need that to be trolley bus all the way through there. There we go. And we've got the trolley bus around the outside. 
And then hopefully, this will then work it out and go around there. I'll tell you what, if I do this, there we go, look, it's doing it already. If I do that and add stops, oh, the one going the other direction. Ah, oh, it's now looping around here, of course, because I made that one way. Yes, that's what we're going to do. But then I'm going to add... Mm, 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 mm. I need to make this two-way, otherwise this ain't going to work, what I'm trying to do. Okay, we'll just switch that out. There we go, because then I was going to say we'll have a stop going the other direction, but it wouldn't work, would it? So we've got a stop going that way. And then what I'm going to do is drag this one up here and that'll stop going the other way. There we go. So we're not messing things up. So now I'm going to add a clockwise and the anti-clockwise round here. I'm going to sort of put stops. Okay, let's try that again on the correct side of the road. Reasonably spread out. These stops may change at a later point. Yeah, we're going to stop down here because we're going to have some beachfront stuff. Then that's going to go in there. Then it's going to hook back round again. There we go. And then we'll do the same going the other way. What are we going to rename this? I mean, I quite, <laughs> I quite like the name. I don't care, Bill. Oh, it's not letting me exit out of that menu. There we go. Thank you kindly. So I think we're going to keep that. And I'm going to rename these lines and pick some new colours as well. There you go. I don't care, Bill. Clockwise and counterclockwise. As for the capacity, I can see this getting pretty big. Um, the largest we've got is the articulated 90. I'm going to go for that. And then we can always adjust it a little bit later. How many are you putting on each of these? 12. Cool, blimey, Governor Striker Light. We'll drop that down to 8. And we'll drop this one down to 8. And then we shall return and see how that goes. I'd like to just help out a little bit with the traffic flow before we go any further. So this one at the end here has actually cleared up. And this one doesn't have traffic lights, which is good. As we come along here, I think I've removed... No, I haven't. I was going to say, I think I've removed all the traffic lights. Oh, I haven't. So I'm going to go along here and remove all of these. So there's nothing here. How busy is this? This isn't too bad. There's problems coming down here. We don't have any dedicated lanes. I mean, it's moving a bit better, actually. Now I've taken out the stop sign. So this will probably get better. at 76% there. And the other spot is here, coming in and out of town. This has got a traffic light. I really feel like this needs to be a roundabout. Yeah, which actually I'm going to have to draw in by hand uh, after this autosave. Quick sip of tea. Mm. Or I'm just wondering whether we could just add in a few different lanes here to help people sort of move out of here a bit quicker. Maybe we'll give that a try instead and see how that works. People are still going to sort of stop in this little gap. And this is still going to have a left turn instead of just being for a right turn. But I'm hoping, like you see up here, with this dedicated turn, they're just going through now and not blocking up this one. These have got a dedicated turn, so they're going through and not blocking up. So overall, that actually isn't working too bad. So what you've got now is the people going left, sort of blocking each other up a little bit because you've got all of these as well for our new lines coming through. So that's going to be a lot of traffic. Maybe let's leave that and see whether that helps enough keep these guys going i tell you what would probably help as well is having this like a little bit further back which means sort of changing things up a bit here because there's not enough cars filling this section so when they do go not enough of them go i'm just wondering actually let me try when the game lets me in let me try the traffic lights here just for a few seconds let's keep an eye on it this way and see whether vanilla traffic lights here make a big enough difference. I would say it's starting to. If you look at this section here, I mean, now it's filling up with traffic. Now the lights change, so all of these are going through. Let's just see how far. So already, this isn't backing up. This is just other cars coming. So the lights are changing often enough in vanilla to not have this back up anymore, which is good. This way isn't backing up. This way, I think, is still a bit of a problem because you've got everybody crossing over the traffic to get through. But I'm thinking we could sort of help all of that by making 
these little stubs longer which would mean a bit of road work up here with the land so let's just do that let's just see if that makes some difference to what we're doing Yeah, something like that, which again is getting too close here. So this might all shifty along a little bit. And then coming off of here, I want this to be a little bit further back. So do we do a bridge rebuild or do we do what I was thinking instead and just sort of lengthen this out? So if we get rid of these pieces, this I'm going to whoop, jump to game. I'm going to bring out a bit further. So now we've got a longer piece here which means a little bit of road building back here. Bit more of a curvy one, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. And then that goes around this way. So now this is longer, this is longer. These two parts are definitely longer. So when the lights change, they will they will change and people will go. Uh, it was this one here, wasn't it? So we went to get the dedicated lane. So look at the lanes on there. Shh, dedicated lane. Love it. And then we'll do the same over here. Excellent. And we've already got that one there. Yeah, very good. So then it's just the traffic lights, I think. Yeah, all that's going to sort itself out. Let's try that menu again. There we go. So I'm going to take that one off there, that one off there, that one off there, that one off there. We're going to leave this one here. See how that goes. This I do want to move along. Yes. There we go. So then all I want to do again is remove the traffic lights. Traffic lights. We may end up adding in a traffic light where they come in and out. We shall see. Oh, what do we reckon to this? So let's start it up. Everybody's going to get back on the tracks, work out where they're going. And I'm hoping what will happen is you won't start getting any U-turns and weird things like that. So let's keep an eye. We'll look this direction. But the traffic coming over here and the traffic coming down there and see whether it works with a traffic light. Okay, it's taken a few seconds, but we are in the same place we were before. The lights have just changed. All of these are moving. When are the lights going to stop? There we go. So is it going to back up? We're not blocking the junction. So it backs up to that white van. When it changed, we follow this white van. Is it going to get through? No. So it's taking two cycles of lights to get everybody through. Probably going to take more now. Is that white van going to get through? I'm following this donut van because he was the next one. So that's one cycle of lights. Yeah, they're definitely going to get through on the next one. Go on, make it through. Yeah, there we go. And there it's not. Look, and it took everything through. So that's okay. Going through this way is okay. It was a bit rough, wasn't it, at the beginning? But that traffic's eased up. So then really, it's just these people coming down here that are not really getting through quick enough. This is all sorted. Let's just use the in-game tool for a sec. This one down here and grab this road. We'll grab this road here because that is everybody going through. So there's a whole load coming from down here and that's their only way across. And there's a whole load of people coming from both sides of this section and that's their only way across. We do have this road here, which if we look at this, they can get through and join on the highway. We have this stupid little connection here, but actually it's okay. Do you know what I could do just to keep these moving through? We, we did this last time, they didn't upgrade it. Can I get a dedicated lane in there? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll upgrade that to two. So now you get, yeah, a bit easier to get in and out. Did we have another connection somewhere? We didn't. We've got all of this backing up here. I feel like we need an extra lane there. So let's go for, that's highway. This is four lane. There we go. So we've got an extra lane for people coming out, even though they won't always use it. They'll just use whatever lane they like. I'm just wondering whether we need to do the proper lane mathematics here and go down to two. I think we're going to do that across here. Right, so now you've got... Just think about what you're doing, folks. You can merge without getting in each other's way. I'll tell you what's happening is, is they're all taking this lane because then they're wanting to come off up here. So they're moving over instead of 
coming in and moving. Yeah, that's just the way the game works. Okay, so yeah, we've got lots of traffic. Oh, this has gone down now, look. This has gone right down. All right, what are we at? 79, so it's getting better. We'll worry about that a bit later. How is our new trolley buses going? 100, wow, we've got a lot of people using these. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then the clockwise, that's fine. So you could probably could drop down their number. But for now, that will be okay. So that junction works a lot better. Just giving it a bit of extra space. There we go. The light just changed and everybody gets through every time. So that's a good rule of thumb. Because of the way vanilla traffic works, they will never sort of fill up a gap. So the light changes and you want everybody nice and close to the junction to get through. That's working fine. Watch this light change. So back here, that green car probably is not going to get through on one change. But yeah much much better excellent okay so on to the next challenge so we're now going to decide which square to unlock next and it's going to be this one over here because let's grab that one and we'll have a look there we go that is it nine squares we're done what do you reckon about adding 81 tiles to hugo slavia let me know in the comments below i might do a poll on that as well but the reason i'm grabbing this is because as we expand and build up um i don't careville We've got this nice sort of little lake we can sort of touch over here. But also we get access to a train line, which I believe. So that goes up there. We don't have any access to train lines. I'm just looking at all the borders anywhere else. No, that is it. That is the lot. So this is why I wanted to get a larger sort of hub built into here. So we can now grab uh, all these roads that we've been working on. And sort of bring them out in these directions. We could have another road come off through there and then yeah we want to get some sort of hub so which hub are we going to go for well we've got trolley buses coming in um i am going to get i think metro as well hooked up we've got on the end of these lines we can sort of hook into there and bring that around and we could even maybe mm, change this one to go in the back have that one move over there and then have this one spare so have another couple of connections so you'd have trolley bus for the local, metro for going further, and then train for coming in from the outside. So that is a lot of things to take care of. So let's have a look what we could use. Okay, so looking at our content creator packs, the railroads of Japan, I really like this large ground train station. Bonk, so we'll pop that one in there. I think that looks pretty neat. And then to go along with that, we are going to go for... An ROJ metro station, the modern metro terminal. Let's pop that in. There we go. And I think these two together, I get a better view over here, will go very nicely. And this one also has, I thought that one had a couple of platforms underground. Hmm, that's weird. Let's click on there. Oh, it's only got one. Okay, well, that's fine. That'll work nicely. So these two together. I think are gonna look good. So I wanna get this lined up in the middle here. I also wanna take this train line and branch it off around here to come into our industrial area. So I think that is really gonna help with the, the traffic. We've got a lot of industrial traffic coming and going and we could even bring it around this way and add a little train station over here as well. We will see about that. Right, let's get this thing lined up here in the middle. There we go. Excellent, excellent. So then we can add some roads and whatnot on here. Not quite sure which way round. I'm hoping. I'm thinking the road needs to be down here. It was really I wanted the road the other side. Yeah. So if we do that, then we're going to have to have other things going up and over the top. One if I just could turn this around. There we go. Excellent. That'll work nicely. So now if we take some of this road... We should be able to snap that too outside. Let's see how close we need to get that. Is that going to be okay? That is perfectly fine. A little bit of a gap in there as well. So then we can connect. That lines up nicely there. We need the little turnaround point. In fact, I'm going to bring that all the way down, almost alongside that line there, and then we'll work on that in a moment. And then we've got our metro. And if that goes on the other side, right opposite that, then if people want to come out and walk from one to the other they can do i think they both go together and we get some parks and stuff like that all up in this place so i want to go for some pedestrian streets so we can get some crossings here how close can i get so if i go like that 
Yep, that gives us some nice crossings across there. Nice pedestrian looking street as well. Could I even get... I was thinking pedestrian streets along here. We might sort of go up and over the top, but yeah, that looks good for now. Definitely going to be turning off the traffic lights on there. Boink and boink. We'll sort out the water and the power in a moment. Just going to pop a little turnaround on here for the trolley buses. If I do 80 by 80, that should be fine. Boink. Oh, <laughs> let's try that again. Boink, boink, boink. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Excellent. So that would all work. Let's hook up our metro next. Oh, that's our tram. That's our train metro. There we go. Underground. Page down. There we go. Excellent. So, hmm. Let's have a quick think. Yeah, so we were going to rejigger this one here. So let's pause. Excellent. So we may bring that through here instead and have another stop in there. In fact, yes, I'm going to do that like this. And I'm going to use this teeny tiny ROJ Metro entrance right here instead of this shop. Oink. Oh, look at that. Oh, it like came with people. I oh, know it didn't. That was all the people that was inside the uh, <laughs> inside the shop. Just running this across here. And we're getting a slope too steep across this section here. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking of doing instead. Is I'm going to raise this above the ground. There we go. And we're going to have a nice little bridge across there. And then I reckon if I drop this down, we should be able to meet up with there. Excellent. And then if I go atop here. <laughs> there we go. And then we can go back underground again. Excellent. And that should, with a bit of swirly and some other stuff, we'll get this all hooked in. There we go. Much, much better. So then we're going to have a stop from there that picks up people in I Don't Careville and then comes across over here to this park. And then they can switch and go all the way into over this direction, Meta Heights, near Business Park. Or they can bring the purple line come all the way down here to Bradley Heights and then that sort of does a bit of a loop because the yellow line comes all the way back down to there again. So that is fantastic. Uh, complete the line. So yeah, we've got to come back, stop in there and go over there. That's going to help people in here to upgrade as well. I'll get to naming all that once we sort of name all these other things. Excellent. Um, then I want to get our trolley bus stops. You know what I've just thought? Actually, the trolley bus has got... Bong, 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 versions of these pedestrian streets that we can have the trolley bus stops up here which will be fantastic so let's have a look we had the thinner ones didn't we it was this one was that the right color yes there we go so that keeps the trolley bus off of up there and then we can upgrade this to something without the trolley buses just thinking of going with the trees either side just to sort of differentiate between this area, make it easier to see people crossing over and all that stuff. Oh, I like that a lot. And then what are we going to add in here for our trolley buses? So we've basically got this yellow line that goes all the way around. I think we've got the two yellow lines that go all the way around. I think it would just be a good idea if we brought these in. Um, let's have it stop. Can you zoom in, please, on the way down? Yep, like that. And then it's just turning around and coming back. And then the other one, we'll take it from here. Oh, I mean, it's going to be a bit of crossing over. It's a bit hard to see, isn't it? I think we'll have that one there. I think that's on the way down as well. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be fine. So now we've got the metro, we've got the trolley bus, then the train. We're automatically going to have people coming in from the outside. This is going to accept intercity trains with people on. Uh, let me just sort out the water and the power problem. There we go. That should all kick in and start accepting trains. And then I want to be able to bring our cargo in and out. So I'm definitely going to have it split off here. Whether I'm going to be able to get that going in both directions or not um, remains to be seen. So I'm just sort of thinking here. If we could run this... Darn you rocks. We will replace some of these rocks. I want this sort of running alongside this road. And where are we going to take this line? I mean, it could literally just go... Hmm, now. If that was a little bit higher. Yeah, it's going to end up going underground, isn't it? It just has to here. That is the only way this is going to work. But is it going to work all across the river? No. 
Darn it. Do we need to go deeper? How deep do we need to go? Oh, it's sloped too steep. That's the problem. Ah, okay. Yes, I can see what's happening now. Um, let's just remove these and keep that at the same level. Can we bring that back up again to get across here in some sort of bridge? We can. We can definitely make this work. Hmm. Can we definitely make this work? Let's try that again. I mean, that is not too bad. If we monkey around with that land a bit, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, let's hook up the power again before we unpause everything. So over here, we're going to take a little bit of a slopey slope. We're going to say we want to come down to there from this height. So if I do that, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Then that should just slightly go up there. Excellent. So, oh man, the traffic. What are we at? We actually got up to like 85%. That's gone back down again. We are going to definitely get a big benefit from having all the trains and stuff going through here. Cargo train terminal. This is where it's going to go. Is that going to be enough space to get people in and out of this area? Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of different road action going on here. Let's pop it there for now. Let's see how it goes. Um, this is sort of half proof of concept, half getting things hooked up and working with what we've got. Do I want that to go up and over? I think we're going to have it go down underground for now. But it's sloped too steep. Oh, I've gone too high above the ground. Okay. There we go. Excellent. And then we can sort of hook those up like this. Nice. There we go. So now this cargo can get in and out as soon as we've hooked this up oh yeah forgot about this okay well let's try and get this one into here yes there we go now this does have a bypass but i think it's going to be sort of hit and miss how that works but then i also want this to go the other direction as well That's okay. Yep. So that goes off like that. That goes off like that. So that can now go in both directions. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. So trains coming from that way, from this way. Excellente. So then, uh, if we check this, are people coming in to use this one? Not yet. But they will, my friends. They will. And do you know what is missing from here? What is missing from all builds that we have? Car parks. God, I put some car parks in. But let's have a look at our cargo. I've just seen a train. There we go. Cargo train leaving, filled up with stuff. Excellent. So what I'm thinking as well with the cargo train is to bring it over here somewhere. Because if we have a look at our zoning, lots of industry. This sort of commercial area here is quite near to the industry. All of this commercial, I mean, trucks are going to come to this smaller commercial areas that's not they're not taking a lot of cargo so the traffic's okay once you get over here actually we're okay there's a lot of there's ways on and off and then we've got this industry area so this is what i was thinking of hooking up just to sort of try and help things get around maybe we could utilize this road that's coming off the other side um, let's just do a little bit of let's grab that thank you very much just looking at the terrain so if we end up building this out and having 81 tiles and also taking in this square this could sort of go around here to this area so maybe let's just sort of eyeball it for now get the power back in go there go there go there excellent and then we can have a little road come off the side here and have another cargo train and then try and run our line across down here somewhere let's do that first i thought that's going to be a bit of fun trying to get that we could go up and over i mean we're literally going to be running it along the back here aren't we so if i get this as close as i can let's go straight oh, as soon as you turn it into a bridge it goes out of city limit have I just got too close? Have I got too close to the edge and it's not going to like it? Darn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to redraw this again. Okay, I think we've got it now. Let's just keep this going straight all along here. We're going to get a little bit of a lump. Uh, where are we going to? We're going to over here. And then we're going to this one here, wasn't it? We're going to try and split this off. I feel like 
splitting it off over here would work well. So let's go up one and get this nice and flat. We'll take that height to there. Nice. There we go. And then we're going to go from there to there. And then I reckon, oh, that can go into there. And then this can have, let's go down to ground level. Oh, we're going to do a little bit of swoopy swoopy around these rocks here. We've done this before, so I should know what I'm doing. That to me looks perfect. That to me looks absolutely perfect. Let's just check everything's all okay. We haven't got the anarchy mod, so all of these are going to connect up properly. Excellent. And then all the way down here, we can then add in. Oh man, this infrastructure is going to cost me some rocks, unfortunately. But there we go. So if we bring that in, then we could do a little bit of something, something over here. There we go. And then we're going to plop it along here. This area will be remade at some point. So we're just going to get all this hooked up. And then again, we should be able to just swing this around into here. Let's bring this one out a little bit further. So we've got something to hook into. And straight. Oh, look at that. So now we can start having cargo brought into here for all these lovely people over there. Or they can ship out their cargo. And hopefully, again, that is going to help with the traffic so we'll leave it like that for now we've got decorating we can put some warehouses and stuff over there and i'm also thinking about a local train station here do we have so we've got metro there see i think metro is good for all the little stops along the way but a train line that just goes from one side to the other like super quick i don't even think we need a stop in the middle here just one all the way down the end here coming off of this one would be great yeah let's do something so we used the roj large ground station before why don't we use the ground station on this one again a lovely looking asset and that is going to bring people in to the park area for sure uh, which is good as well so again getting more traffic off the roads uh, we'll get some cables and stuff going for the power and things in a moment what's going on here oh oh this is a metro well we won't be using that then will we here we go small ground station that is the one we wanted excellent so we're gonna go straight like that and let's see i want that to hook into there so i'm going to sort of go from here yeah nice and then we're going to go like this oh nice excellent so that goes into there so now we can have a train stop from there all the way along to here and all the way back again there it is excellent so another one that we need to name let's just get some water there excellent let's get some power there again very temporary stuff so that is going to help with the traffic of all the people here, the trucks, the people that want to get from one side of the city to the other. And then they can jump on the trolley buses, jump on the metro, all that sort of good stuff. I really am sort of tempted to put another stop in the middle, but I think that's going to sort of take away from the fact that this is supposed to be, <laughs> we need to flatten this out, this is supposed to be a very quick route from one end of the map to the other. Already people are going. Is there anybody on here? Well, let me see zero people on there at the moment. Well, why don't we follow along and enjoy the ride? Oh, and here we go. Yeah, I really feel like we need to flatten that out at some point. That was a pretty bumpy ride, but we've made it all the way. Brilliant. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like they use the bypass like they should do. Everybody's just going through the middle, um, which actually the middle should be the continue through and then the outside should be the stops. Yeah, let's see if I can just move the stops. My last one, drag line, add stop, cannot find path. Hmm, that is a little bit annoying, isn't it? If there's something that I'm missing here, so drag stop to move it. Yeah, it won't let me add that. Oh, it will in there, but it won't come back around. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah, and even when I start the line on the outside, go to the other station and back again, 
it's now completing the line in the middle and not where I wanted it. Mm, that is one of those things, isn't it? That I'm going to delete that one. That's one of those things that I think mods would help with. If there's any little trick that you can use in vanilla for that one, uh, let me know. Oh man, it's really causing backups over here now. I did actually put on a little bypass around the side here and it didn't like it, um, which is a bit of a bummer. Which way is that going? Yeah, it clears up. I'll have a little think. I might just change this station out for a different one because we're going to get trains going everywhere. But anyway, we need to rename this area before... There we go. I name all the lines. Ivan Square. So thank you very much to Ivan, who's uh, started to support me on Patreon. And I do seriously really appreciate all of you that support me on Patreon because that money is used to pay the bill that I have for the people that edit my videos. So it really, really is put to good use. I know you all enjoy the editing. Thank you, editors, working hard in the background. So yeah, I'm going to get naming some lines and then we're going to check out how well used all of my lines are. That's trolley bus, train, metro, the works. Just doing the normal checking around, renaming things, seeing how many buses, metros, trams we've got on every single line. Oh, we've got a bit of underground blueness going on there. I'll fix that. But wow, look, there's like 2,000 odd people or something on this stop. Let me come out of that. Oh, game's gone a very bit laggy. Let's just jump onto here. Which stop is this one? It's not this line. Lilac to Night Owl. I think it's one of these here. I think it's this one. Ivan. No, it won't be the Ivan ones because they're the ones we've just done. Lilac to Bradley. There it is. And we've only got seven vehicles on here, but this is like a really long line. We put that view on. I think that's one of the, Yeah. I'm, at some point, I'm going to have to go through and change the amount of lines we've got and the length they are. I've got a lot of places going from Ivan. I've adjusted all of those. They're well used. And our metro lines. Ivan Bradley. These are barely being used. I don't know why. And then our train line. I've changed that now to the bullet train. As Oh, it was just there. There we go. Grab the bullet train. Oh, it's just coming in. I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. With a nice green livery on the side as well. How fast is it going to end up going? Oh, I think super fast. And you get a nice view of the city as we go through as well. After all of that, what is our traffic percentage at now? Wow, look at all the people cycling on their bicycles. There's so many of them, which is exactly what... Don't run the people over, for goodness sake. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Using the mass transit, using their feet, using the bicycles, keeping the cars off the road. So let us check the traffic. We were sort of dipping below the 73 74% before, 83% absolutely fantastic be sure to subscribe be back here for the next video we've still got to work on i don't careville and a lot of decorating to do as well thank you for your support and i'm sure i'll have some more city skyline 2 videos coming very soon have a great day take care everybody bye bye